Welcome back. Today we have an incredible guest, Renee King Sonnen, and uh, from Rowdy Girl Sanctuary. We're going to hear all about that. And then also, I've got with me my fantastic guest co host, Monica. So, Monica, welcome. Hi, everybody. All right, Renee. Yes. We're really, really psyched to have you here. It's been a long time coming. We've been, you know, waiting to get you on. Um, what can you tell us about yourself and Rowdy Girl? Well, um, a lot of people think I'm Rowdy Girl, and um, I uh, have to admit I am pretty rowdy, but Rowdy Girl Sanctuary was named after my uh, beloved calf, Rowdy Girl. And uh, Rowdy Girl was um, purchased by me about 11 years ago when my husband wanted me to get more involved in cattle ranching. I wasn't a vegan at the time. Neither was he. We were cattle ranchers. And I really had no uh, inclination to help him at the ranch. I was into yoga, music, meditation, and, you know, doing my thing. And um, helping out at the ranch wasn't really what I wanted to do uh, unless I was doing yoga or something out there. But he wanted me helping with fences, helping with hay, helping with this and that. And I didn't really want to. And so uh, in order to get me interested, he came home one day and told me about these two calves that needed a mama. And one of them was Rowdy Girl. And so it's all his fault. Um, I blame Tommy all the time for telling me about these two calves that I fell in love with. Uh, the youngest one, I mean, one of them passed away early. She had a Failure to thrive disease, never, never got colostrum, never thrived. She died like within a week. But rowdy girl was, um, you know, just something else. Very rowdy, always wanted uh, attention. I began to just fall in love with feeding her twice a day, like clockwork. I would run outside and I would become like a character in her life, I became her mom. I became Rowdy Girl's surrogate mom. And um, it really felt like I was uh, catapulted into a world that I had no idea existed. Uh, prior to Rowdy Girl, I didn't even acknowledge the cows, really. I knew they were there, but I never really thought too much about it. They were Black Angus, and they were there for a purpose. And I never gave it too much thought, but Rowdy Girl changed all that. So she was the impetus of my of my transformation, if you will. She was what started that ball rolling down the rabbit hill. You know, that little rabbit hole you go through. She's the one that started all that for me. 